big English word. Huh? Guys. Mm. Ama ni sani hami elixide at this rate. At this rate. Nishanza kuwa nini. <laughs> Alright, so the question of the day we're asking, basically. Kuna thesis, usually we have Kaezu in his brilliance gives us a thesis and then the actual question. So the question is, how many times? Ama wana unona haswa, msana anafa kuanda check up how many times? Atakama jiski mgonjwa. Which I found very interesting. I like the way he finished, even though you're not feeling yeah. unwell, eh? Yeah. Utenda check up marangapi. So the girl's health, that is the thesis. Dame anafa kufanyi wa routine medical check up marangapi kwa mwaka. Atakama hafile mgonjwa. Now we have a couple of comments here. Although zo, mingi mingi ni salamu. Sijajam, by the way, napenda salamu. So we have uh, Marcus. Ah, mutu wangu. Mutu wangu, I see you. See me behind the tent. See me behind the tent after this. Darius Luceno says, good morning, Ben, eh? ben Tent. Eee. If you <laughs> shinyalu watching live, hashtag why in the morning, Beth Com. Beth Wells says, Annex LD is watching the show, is lit. Jack's on. Wow. Personally, I suggest it should be done four times a year. That is after every three months. Hey. Tukuna nasa, tatuambia how, how, factual that is uh sales yo says in bogey empire matwati meruel presented i'll be salano says vihiga mago center tuned kama musanango says good morning beautiful ladies mm. grasha receive your beautiful ladies ladies receive your beautiful ladies uh paboja sara hapa kagera eh katundo mm -hmm. south kiambu county kim says good morning Oh, good morning. Watching Ada Siokimao Terminus maximum routine medical checkup three times a year if she's well. All right. Eh, Pepe Kwando. Wow. It's Clinton Live from Migori County. Wesley Gibson says following Mato Wakikuyu says watching. Eh, David's. <laughs> Wee bado kukwa dini yetu, giggles, ile ya, ya ku, karawa na kupata kwa unaiba. <laughs> ah, the Moses, good morning, beautiful people. Me, I think it's thrice after every four months. Mm -hmm. Julius Murega says, good morning. Where's Joe? Good morning. Mm -hmm. Oh, one of my favorite people. Memo Chap says, good morning. Uh, Patia's Delight says, maramob. Eh? <laughs> but please keep commenting. I will be reading them. Do not worry. I at once. Let's start with you, Dana. Yeah. What, what do you think? How many times do you think to not fuck on any kucheki or sisi kama made? Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, I believe. Mm -hmm. Mina believe. Nikiskia mbaya. Mm. <laughs> Ndona fa ina inde wapi. Uh -huh. We ni kama mkenya halisi. Yani nikiskia uh -huh. kamili kamileta. Na bado, uh -huh. kuna vile utachukua tu medication zile zine si serious. Uh -huh. Maybe kamara moja, panadol. Uh -huh. uh, it depends mimi venye nasikia uh -huh. na feel mwili. Uh -huh. So, kulingana na watu wengi, maybe ukisikia kichwa, utaran kwa shop, uh -huh. chukwe panadol. Uh -huh. Maybe, sija believe sana na check up. Uh -huh. Na believe ni kichukua painkillers, mm -hmm, nita kuwa fiti. Una tibwa raka. Eh. Wesi ndo na jujua. Mindo na jujua. Okay. <laughs> Alafu, uki, when you hear the, the word hospital, ama check up, do you imagine it's expensive? Like, mbona natumezo pesa zote. Eh? Na yeah. nizenda tu hapa kwa chemist, taraka raka. Mm. Yeah. Yani, kufikiria, like, naenda kupimwa. Mm. Alafu, vitu zote zita negative. Na nisha lipa. So she she appear <laughs> the results. Eh, hey, she appear the results, <laughs> uh -huh. man. Na vile me spend. Uh -huh. Yeah. Na niko tu sawa. Na niko tu sawa. Uh -huh. Yeah. When you watu kuna watu fulani acha niseme ni kina nani kuna watu fulani walikuwa naamini covid covid unafaa kuyanika tu mahali kwa jua mm. alafu inakauka ikiisha hakuna haja sijui vaccine au oh, sijui nini nini yeah. nini but don't listen to me guys. Uh, let's hear a professional <laughs> professional thing. Uh -huh. Tell us about why, first of all, if or let's put it like this, mm -hmm. what's the biggest stereotype you've heard about checkups? Nasisi mm -hmm. mm. Okay, the first thing I would say is the stigmatization that comes with it. Um, many people, uh, even our guest Amesema, whatever you don't know, Aitaku heart. Ignorance is bliss. Ignorance, yeah. Mm -hmm. So many people take joy in like the, the better, don't like get to understand what's happening 
ni heri wakae in the darkness kuliko like wajue and she has also raised a matter of financial aspect mm. with the economy right now we really understand that so many people are living below the poverty line mm -hmm. and so many people they rather prefer to do the basic necessities like food shelter clothing and then mambo na medication ina kuja later mm -hmm. and uh, what we've seen the trend we've seen sana sana is people buying over the counter drugs mtu ana feel kichwa amebuy panadol amebuy mara moja so that's a trend that i feel like we need to really eradicate it first because signs and symptoms vary unaweza kuwa unaisha signs za malaria kumbe it's not malaria it's typhoid and then i also feel we need to understand what is health uh, many people believe like they are healthy when they are not showing signs of malaria signs of you know mm -hmm. all those uh, conditions but according to the WHO the world health organization complete health is a complete state of physical mental emotional well-being wow. and not just absence of a disease or an infirmity mm -hmm. so once we understand clearly what is health then we will get to like root down to one like tutasaidia the aje watu with the rising case of mental health issues we also need to fix them in our systems mm -hmm. and all that yeah nilikuwa nadhani nimeanzia siku na kizungu i have been proven wrong terminology all right did you ever imagine Diana, that mental health is, is part of a kitu nafaa ku check and and how do you imagine ukiambiwa u check your mental health utadu Well, like what does that mean to you? Like your mental well-being, what does that mean to you? Ujajam, uh una -huh. heartbreak, ama what does Hey, we, I know we, we we take these things very lightly, yeah. but when, if someone asks you, where are you in in concerning your mental health? Okay, I'll be speechless because I've not sijui fikiria like kuenda ku pata check up. I must dig one your idea. You know sometimes most of us tunakosa kupata vitu zingine jua tuna leakage mm -hmm. ama to do anything about what we are supposed to do na get so mimi vinyi nimekuambia mm -hmm. as long as nimeamka mm -hmm. si feel vibaya mm -hmm. niko fit mm -hmm. but at the same time unaweza pata niko na stress mm -hmm. siko comfortable with vitu zenye zinafanyika kwa life yangu mm -hmm. so hiyo itanipatia mwili wangu na sikia iko fit mm -hmm. actually by the as le au ko fit ki kiakili that's true mm. maybe i don't have money mm -hmm. maybe job yangu imeisha maybe nimekuwa niko stressed up mta sina place naenda mm. nitakuwa akili yangu iko fit mm. so mwili yangu pia ita react mm -hmm. so sitakuwa na hiyo idea like mm -hmm. what i'm supposed to do mm -hmm. ni kunywe dawa ndo nakwambia mara mingi unapitia anga ile kitu yenye karibu mm. when i'm feeling like headache even a ah, mara moja itakuwa fit mm -hmm. that's why kuna time unasikia kuna mtu anasema mimi mara moja hadi nikunywe mm -hmm sisi sikia kichwa imeacha and the moment atakunywa panadol mm -hmm. anasikia ako fit so sometimes tunapata maybe si disease mm -hmm. maybe we need check up mm -hmm. so tuwezi jua ni wapi so acha ni simesezi define yangu venye iko juu sijai fikiria mambo na check up actually mm -hmm. nimekuja ku realize after this discussion imeanza mm -hmm. yeah is is therapy an option for you ama hiyo ni kitu ya wazungu ama watu wamefia tu mm. Well, because people think therapy is yeah. for crazy people yeah. or oh, it's, it's a very extreme case yeah. would you consider going for therapy and again peer care therapy you ni costing ina you imagine it's 5 million dollars ngongo ni noma aji why not ni noma juu ya do who said it nasikia kwa pigia hapa facts but i want to understand the root of the problem mm -hmm. how how much really do you imagine a session is ushai jaribu kuingia tu hata kama ni gogo gogo is supposed to be our best friend right uh -huh. now yes uh -huh. ushai jaribu tu kupiga masimu uliza how much is a session watu kama tatu na uniambie uwezi afford watu waaluta <laughs> watu waaluta mnaenda aluta a whole we, two we three weekends back to back aluta mm -hmm. aluta tu ako hata not even a quarter bwana hiyo that's a, that's one session eh, ushai jaribu and why not sijai jaribu mm. tu sijai kwa na that idea mm -hmm. so Okay the reason why CJ try ni just CJ kwa an idea that I can do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah that's why I'm telling you many people maybe how I try visit your st your state and you na try to bring ju mm how -hmm. an idea. So as exposure sasa hapa ndio tunaleta kwa platform. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ushai jaribu like, maybe you're not feeling well not in terms of physical well-being mm -hmm. but maybe something is going on in your life that is giving you some some type of 
Majwa pia hormones zinaza kuingia, you'll give us the facts later, but there's some hormones that are released when you're feeling sad versus, you know, dopamine and them when you're happy. Na tushai jiambia, hata ni pige tizi, leo sisikifi, hata ni nini pige tizi, ni pige nduru, nini, nini, and then alafu after that, I will feel better. Ushai, fikiria maybe exercise could be a way to relieve any kind of... Yeah, nishai fikiria. Kufikiria tu. Nishai fikiria, lakini sijai fanya. <laughs> yeah, they take any action. Uh -huh. Yeah. But na kwanga na maybe um, a way to bring it out. Mm -hmm. As the way we say, like exercise. Mm -hmm. As for me, I do those things that I love mm -hmm. to relieve myself. Come again. So. Okay, I dance. Mm -hmm. And actually, mentally, umangele mambo na maybe si, si mambo na health. Mm -hmm. Your body health, though. Mm -hmm. So me wandika poetry, mi kwambe wandika poetry. Mm. So I write according to how you I'm feel. feeling. Mm. Mm. And that heals me so much. Mm -hmm. So says me ni go down, sita fikiria mambo na tinende ni pote check up. Mm. I'll just take a pen, mm -hmm. ni chape chini, hizo vitu zote zina nisumbua. Mm -hmm. And actually zita toka, zita ni patia pick up lines zingine noma. Mm -hmm. Sia tini juu ni kona hizo pick up lines mm. zi, ni juu vile zile vitu na pass through mm -hmm. zero bring so after ni mefanya hivyo na feel niko relieved na feel niko fit mm -hmm. so that's the way that i'm using you know njia mi utumia mm -hmm. kufanya like na feel fit mm -hmm. yeah all right let me let me turn the question a little bit let me tweak it up nimetoka mm -hmm. uh, sasa google should be one of our closest friends see master kwa best because mm -hmm. now this is the the downside i have a headache Mm -hmm. eh, na na said moja. Yeah. So I Google those symptoms. Google and yambe, I have three days to live. <laughs> and there's nothing I can do about it. Shanza kusambea what to buy. Oh, yeah. it's been nice knowing you. Yeah. So you have things like misdiagnosis, your, your mm -hmm. self diagnosis. It's just ridiculous, really. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then also, we had a doctor on set uh, last year, towards the end of last year. Mm -hmm. Many times, una, una mm -hmm. and our first thing is, kuna kukunya maramoja, mm -hmm. ama dola mm -hmm. manini. But yeah. it could be something to do with our blood pressure. It mm -hmm. could be either sijui high, ama sijui low. Mm -hmm. Ama si kukunya maji. Ama. Mm -hmm. eh? mm -hmm. You see now that's that's building up to now our future selves. Ten mm -hmm. years from now, we're going to be suffering for things that we could have solved Absolutely. right now. Yeah. So, so how do we, <coughs> how how do we get ourselves out of that kind of mental capacity? Thinking that yes, whatever symptom I can Google and I can find a solution, versus just going to a doctor. And and how do we get out of our system that? And if you found that you know you're not okay, that's okay too. Mm -hmm. Like Nisawa, by the way. And mm -hmm. eh, pesa kwenda kwamboko sawa. Lakini better safe than sorry. Yeah. yeah? And then yeah. How, how do you tie that with mental health and exercise yeah. as well? Hey, <laughs> sorry. Uh -huh. Actually, it's a good thing you've raised. Uh, this is like a story. I had a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. She had missed her periods. Makosa. I don't know what happened. Uh -huh. And then, like, she she just checked online. You know that time, like, whatever you're thinking, it will manifest your Mimba. Yeah. <laughs> Mimba. <laughs> <laughs> and mm -hmm. it could be variety of things. Mm -hmm. It could be hormonal issues, issues with uh, hormones, levels, they may fluctuate and all that. So it is it is a good thing to run to the internet and check, like, to confirm, to confirm the facts and all that. Knowledge is power, I agree. Mm. But on the other side of the coin, uh, the internet, whatever is projected in the internet, seeking like too quickly. Mm. We have so many people writing journals and articles. Some of them are not even medics. They just want the viewership. They are bloggers. They're mm. just writing. However, we also have the dig digital um, health um, um, apps that are also in use. We have, I know of one, Zuri Health, mm -hmm. and uh, it's kind of affordable, 500 mm. for the inquiries and all that. So it is better you, you do with the Zile um, apps and Zico verified. Mm. Just don't search your information anywhere because mm. so many people are writing, so many people are posting uh, every information. Mm -hmm. People are writing a lot of things and they have not even been verified. So it is a good thing to run to the internet and social media, but just make sure you, you, you verify those apps. Nakama who wears it here, there are health centers around. I'm sure, like right now, we with the integration of health services, we have health centers almost at every place. Mm -hmm. You can just consult. Hayezi kwa that expensive sana, especially in the Vijiji. So mm. consultation is kind of minimal. But also, I get the aspect that she has said about cost. 
and I really feel like the systems of the country, we start from the systems of the country. We had an issue with NHIF, mm. and so many people are relying on NHIF for their funds, for the services at the hospitals. So if the government, in collaboration with the Ministry of Health, could do something to mm -hmm. make sure that health services are accessible, and especially we are talking about the girl child, we have the reproductive health services, mm -hmm. the uh, adolescent youth-friendly services, mm -hmm. the counseling in terms of uh, their sexual health orientations and all that. Uh, why should we have a country distributing condoms and they're not even distributing pads for free? Mm. I mean, we really have a lot of issues that we need to raise and I feel like sometimes our priorities are misplaced as leaders and also it starts with me and you. Mm -hmm. Once we elect those people in the leadership uh, arena, we are the ones now like we are their watchdogs. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. We need to, mm. we need to like really put them in check. If this is what we elected you, if you're a woman representative, if you're a member of parliament, we need to harness our powers like to help these other more important things and we just stop with the politics for once. So it's really a lot of, it, it requires a lot of efforts and it's kind of holistic, starting mm -hmm. from the community, the leaders, the church, you know, everywhere, education system, the schools. We need to integrate these services in school, the comprehensive sexual education in school. We need to teach the young people like we need to teach them life is a process, you know, mm -hmm. and like if we teach them maybe about reproductive health, because me, I'm, I'm so much uh, passionate about reproductive health mm -hmm. and the rise of teenage pregnancies. Mm -hmm. The Kenya Demogra Demographic Health Survey 2022 Metolewa recently, it shows like we, we're having a lot of teenage pregnancies in this era. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have a lot of uh, digitalization, we have the social media. Why should we be having these cases on the rise? Mm -hmm. Meaning there's something we are not doing. Mm -hmm. What if Katunge Funza are these children in school? This is how you're supposed to do, you know? Or if we could provide them with uh, the reproductive services they need, mm -hmm. we would have at least a decrease in the teenage pregnancies and stuff. Mm -hmm. But I also feel uh, at the end of it all, we can do all these things, but without the community sensitization and teaching, mm -hmm. you know, it starts from an individual level, then you go to the family. You mm -hmm. can teach the kids at home, but what about the parents? Mm -hmm. What about their brothers? What about their sisters? Maybe they don't know about menstruation and all that. Mm -hmm. They have been raised by single fathers. fathers mm. You know, they have been raised by the other side, the other gender. And there's a tend they, 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 there are some people who may tend to react in some type of way when you tell them about menstruation. Mm -hmm. We have so many myths and misconceptions about it. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. everything I feel as a mental health advocate, as a, as a person in the health sector, I feel like everything is about community sensitization. We just have programs where we teach, we train, and enhance the capacity building. And then I believe that knowledge is power. When a high population of people have been educated, mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. we, we'll also see the impacts mm -hmm. like on a positive side. Mm -hmm. We would have a reduction of these teenage pregnancies, stigmatization, they will be low. Mm -hmm. yeah. I really like that Umeleta, your story, age. Do you, do you think that we're still talking about the girl child and, mm -hmm. and their health, their yeah. well-being, yeah. because mm -hmm. we've been told health is, does not only just include physical, it also includes mental, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. Do you think that people, so Grasha Maingi went for missions sometime last year. She'd be going on missions, but this particular story that she told me, mm -hmm. Alenda High School, and then the stories that she was hearing, like when you need to encourage what to motivation, motivation, a lot of fun and bad days, falling in my tent. I'm like, eh, by the way, so we we'll overcome this how? And mm -hmm. then now she got to find out that a lot of them were sexually active as, as early as form one, form mm -hmm. two. Me ni ko, eh, me ni ni. I'm a late bloomer. That's what I agree, guys. Mm -hmm. I'm a very late bloomer. By form two, me me. The science, I knew what was happening, yeah. what needs to go where yeah. for things to happen, mm. reproduction, nyef, 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 but mm. the actual thought of act. So now, mm. <laughs> I'm very confused. Should we put emphasis what wako iyo high school? Unajwa pia adole si raizi yaki. Hei damu inachemuka. Unanza kutokea sijui nini. Your body is changing. You, yeah. you want everyone to see you or you're overly shy because you're changing. Like it could be either extreme. Mm -hmm. So should we be focusing on people who are in that ka age group, you know? Apo mm -hmm. Raima mkimaliza mkingia high school, ama their 20s, ama their 30s, ama, you know, menopause and them. Mm -hmm. Is there a specific age that tunafaku mulika sana in terms of her health? Okay. Mimi, like, venye nimekuambia idea. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, kwangu mimi naita leakage. Mm -hmm. Ni the same thing yanisema, mm -hmm. educating. Mm -hmm. Tusi focus na what to specific. Mm -hmm. Juu kuna mtu maybe alishapita hiyo place penye tunaenda ku focus na penye hako pale mbele hana idea. So we should just focus like kila mtu ajui. Educating like kila mtu akoe na idea ni nini nafanyika, ni nini nafanyifanye. Mm -hmm. Like kuna ule mse pia venyo nasema uo beshti yako wali alipato nyuma ya tent. Mm. Kuna mtu mwenye haezi sema. Mm. Get, kuna mtu haezi sema. Mm. Kuna mtu pia nasikiza pale, ako like, I hope waguze penye nataka. Mm. Na maybe ni mtu mkubwa di, I, I range hapo ati mse yako 20, 22. Mm. No, maybe ni mtu ni mkubwa bata kwa like, nitai uliza nani isu wali. Mm -hmm. Kuna mse venyo unasema, amesema like, kuna mtu amelelewa na parent like si mama mm. maybe ni baba mm. hana hiyo idea like the way i'm going to talk to my daughter mm -hmm. when yana fanya mm. so i think kuna mtu mwenye amelelewa ashapita hiyo stage mm. like hakuulizanga mtu hiyo time mm. sasa yako stage nyingine yenye watu wote like wako like si mse akifika hapa na fanya kwa na kujua yeah mm. so tunafai to kuwe like everyone is being educated mm -hmm. like kila mtu ajue akuwe na idea. Mm -hmm. Me, the first time nilikuambia idea. Mm -hmm. Like, ukiwa na idea, imagine huwezi potea. Mm -hmm. Ukiwa na idea, you can do anything. Mm -hmm. Ukiwa na idea, uneza open up. Mm -hmm. Juhu kwa like, kuhu msee, by then, abonga venye miu feel. Mm -hmm. Sae, nikikuambia, eh, hey, kuna time nikikula maragwe na siki hivi kichwa. Mm -hmm. Eh, tumbo ina nisoko tambaya. Mm -hmm. So, utakuwa like, nikona symptoms ka hizo. Mm -hmm. So, sisi wate tutakuwa like, tutataka kujua nini yu ufanyika ndo mtu anasikia hivyo mm -hmm. that's an idea mm -hmm. nimesikia umesema mm -hmm. and i'm uh, facing the same thing that you're facing mm -hmm. so all of us will be like tufanye nini mm -hmm. so i think we should just educate everyone mm -hmm. in general like to see bagwe mm -hmm. to see angalie age ama place yenye msia na range no mm -hmm. we should just educate everyone mm -hmm. yeah so i'm feeling like pia kuna mahali tunasikia aibu tunasikia uweshe ku, kuongea tu yeah. just the fact that to step up and say oh by mm -hmm. the way this happens to me or if, if we're going to talk about the reproductive health oh mm -hmm. i have discharge that looks uh, like, like this, this and this yeah. and this it happens this frequently oh my menses are not regular mm -hmm. i have once every six months like in mm -hmm. this funny oh i'm sexually active and i would really want to get checked mm -hmm. up more often than not but what what mm. all this and that and that okay so we we got that mm -hmm. yeah. we aya i want to start with then again then come back to you and mm -hmm. and this is again based on a question that we discussed with that particular doctor i was mentioning so just taki kumtaja sai but good morning sir you did a very good job coming last year so he raised the concern that uh, sometimes when it's at Okay, now, as a medical practitioner, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the people who come to him, sometimes uh, and as a judge, mm -hmm. na, na buy a judge as in na judge, like and as a jua, your symptoms, uh, this and this is the problem. For mm -hmm. example, some people of a certain class, anakulanga tuma pizza, nini nini, mm -hmm. oh, sujui fried foods, as in basically their diet is fast food, na nini wapi, mm -hmm. versus mtu atamkia kasava, atamkia guashe, na izi mabitu, you know, eh, hey, bana, mm -hmm. eh, kuliko ma bacon, sausage, sausage, yeah. so, uyu ya kikuja, anajua, ah, <laughs> shidei kwa hapa, eh, hey, hata, hata bila masali mingi, hii shidei, uh, umu mingina kikuja, maybe shidei yake sana, ni maybe anaendesha, mm -hmm. oh, eh, hey, oh, anatapika, as very simple issues, because generally their diet is, is, mm -hmm. Mm. I want to say correct, but it's it's a bit different from this other person. Mm -hmm. So do you imagine that also people, mali wametoka, that determines how much more they should get checked or should they get checked at all? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mimi kama niko na idea. Tumerudi kwa full circle, full circle. Idea, 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 idea. dio muhimu. Niko na idea. <laughs> like, ile temi njina amuka, mi wa mkia kiporu. <laughs> Unacheki, mm. ni lewe sembeli ili achapale, yeah. unacheki, hakuna ni ingine, hakuna ingine, mm. kwanza ukiche mshatu vizuri ungwe tu kidogo, mm. sa indo ni aslap kabisa. Kuna mtu wana kujaji, unaka mrembo, <laughs> utoli watukulangi sembe ya, ya jana by the way, unse, yeah. wewe, eh. tunakula, eh. so kuna mse mwenye atamuka, amekula hiyo, mm. kuna ule mwenye ya kiamuka, eh, Hapa kumfukoni ya kofiti. Mm -hmm. So, mse ya rapiga sausage mbili. Mm -hmm. 
eh nimesikia umesema bacon sichi ka pancake 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 mm -hmm. pancake mm -hmm. hivi huo mm -hmm. mse kitembea pale kwa barabara na huo mse mwingine amekula kiporo we are all same mm -hmm. but tutapata symptoms zangu mm -hmm. na zake hazifanani mm -hmm. okay mimi nimesikia <laughs> nimesikia mm -hmm. E, nimefanya uchunguzi pia mm. wase wenye huku la vitu hizi eh? vitu hash zenye hazina sura <laughs> those people are healthy for real mm. mseme amkia ndoma amemkia ngwashe jina maybe ni mbaya <laughs> lakini ile maybe atakuwa fit kimwi kimwili mm. so ni believe pia acha nisemi ni believe mm -hmm. kuna mtu anaamini akikula pancake asubuhi mm. ako fit mm. Oh mseju ashazo hiyo pancake. Mm -hmm. Ukimpate hiyo sembe mm -hmm. atafila ako fit. Mm -hmm. Acha niseme mimi kulingana na mimi mm -hmm. health na akili mm -hmm. ziupelekana sometimes. Mm -hmm. Kuna time kuna mtu atasema mimi uko na ulcers. Mm -hmm. Nikikula sukuma yenyewe mm -hmm. sitasikia fit. Mm -hmm. So akikula something else atasikia fit. Mm -hmm. So siwezi sema ati, ati watu wa huku wanafaiwa visit sana mm -hmm. watu wa huku wanafaiwa visit sana I think ni mwili pia mm -hmm. na venye mwili ya kila mse mm -hmm. ina operate Una get mm -hmm. mimi maybe nikikula choma mm -hmm. niko fit mm -hmm. ukikula choma mm -hmm. unasikia tumbo inakusokota mbaya Una get mm -hmm. I think everyone kila mwili kuna venye iko mm -hmm. Mimi nitakuwa fit, wewe mm. utakuwa fit. Mm. So si this at his side tunafai to visit. Nini hosi sana mm. kuangaliwa his side. No, I think kila mtu mwili yake kuna mm. venye mwili yake ina operate. Mm -hmm. Na kuna venye side effects zinakupata. Mm -hmm. Na get. Mm. So si this range at so everyone mm. anafaiwa kuwe ana visit maybe. Mm -hmm. Ama everyone anafaiwa jue mwili yangu mm -hmm. inakuanga hivi na hivi nikifanya hivi. Mm -hmm mwili yangu mm -hmm. uko hivi na hivi nikifanya hivi mm -hmm. kuna mse unasikia anasema dem eh hey, mimi nikichange weather period zangu zimi misbehave mm -hmm. na get mm -hmm. utasikia mtu ameomba hapana zimi misbehave bwa ndio ujiangalie vizuri maybe una tuf na get mm -hmm. so huo mse anajijua nikichange hivi weather tu kidogo <laughs> eh kuna haribi <laughs> kuna haribi kuna get So si watu tunafai tujue mwili zetu changes zetu zinakuangaje <laughs> na mwili zetu zina reactor <laughs> aje <laughs> eh hey. in conclusion musi tunyoe kindly kabla daktari hapa atatuambia <laughs> what do you think about environment as well environment in particular yeah. it, it plays a role because uh, for instance if you let me use an example of malaria mm -hmm. kuna some diseases that are just found in designated areas Malaria is more prone in the tropical areas. So definitely if if you visit a place like maybe Lakeside Lu or uko nini nini you will get the malaria kama kujapewa the mm -hmm. prophylaxis before. So whether she has a good point by the way it mm -hmm. it really matters. It can alter your hormones mm -hmm. and that's why people might have delayed periods or mm -hmm. periods might come earlier. So, so it's it yeah different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It it plays a, a role. Mm -hmm. And also the aspect that you've asked about social economic status mm -hmm. it also influences someone's health on a negative way and also on the positive side if you have money you you're able to access this faci this health health care services and mm -hmm. the facilities the top so called top notch facilities mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if you have money you can buy food which like you can sustain yourself n the nutrition aspect but also it is quite subjective mm -hmm. because you, you've talked about those food stuff uh in the rich so called the rich wanakula pizzas to, to say to fast food uh, uh, the fast, fast foods mm -hmm. and all that that is part of the sedentary lifestyle mm -hmm. na ukiangalia most of them they end up kukua obese mm -hmm. obesity also implicates your health mm -hmm. the, there are so many things you cannot do kukua obese mm -hmm. you will have high blood pressure the cholesterol level you may have heart attack issues Yeah and also self esteem issues mm -hmm. so social economic status in a impact mm -hmm. and on the other side if you lack money mm -hmm. let's say those people who live I, i don't know if i'll be interrushing my when you say about the slums and all that mm -hmm. they don't have the money to buy food and all that mm -hmm. so their kids mostly work under nourished mm -hmm. malnourishment mm -hmm. yeah so it highly impacts All right now we really really have to stop it there guys thank you so very much for coming we thank had a very, very insightful conversation although na sikia kama tunaweza repeat kitu because we haven't touched on everything we're supposed to touch on but however thank you for allowing me to host you today myself and Grasha Mengi wish you a fantastic one but just because when the morning is over does not mean you should change that channel please stay channel Y254 I will see you when I see you have a fantastic day